Hi friends, this is the next video of Minerals and Energy Resources. In this video, we are going to start with Energy Resources. Before this, we have already covered till minerals, uh, metallic, non-metallic and ferrous, non-ferrous, everything. So let us start with Energy Resources. Basically, we all know what energy resources are. Energy needed to run machines, provide light and heat, cook food and all these things which is received from uh, certain mineral fuels uh, which are known as energy resources or any other source by which we can get this energy which is used to run machines and uh, all. So this is general idea what energy resources are. Okay. So the first topic under this is types of energy resources, conventional and non-conventional. और उसके बाद में divisions हैं coal और ये सब पे। So let us start with that only. Uh, there are two types of energy resources, conventional and non-conventional. इसके बीच में you can be asked to differentiate. So uh, you can write certain points. Uh, some of them I'll mention over here. Like you can uh, write sources conventional are obtained from coal petroleum and natural gas and non-conventional are obtained from tides sun wind biogas thermal etc uh, second point features and characteristics so these are non-renewable con uh, conventionals are non-renewable and exhaustible and non-conventionals are renewable and non-exhaustible then next is availability so conventional are limited whereas non-conventionals are plenty then if we talk about expenses then conventional are very costly whereas non-conventional are very cheap in uh, except for the initial cost of installing the machines next is effects on environment so conventional generally causes pollution they are not eco-friendly whereas non-conventionals are eco-friendly next is uh, when conventionals came in use so conventionals came in use since ancient times they have been used whereas non-conventionals have been started use uh, have been started being used recently and uh, then you can mention examples so for conventionals we have coal petroleum natural gas as examples whereas non-conventional we have nuclear energy resources, solar energy, wind energy, tidal and wave, geothermal, bioenergy, etc. So uh, these are the differences between conventional and non-conventional. Now let us start with conventional sources of energy. First is coal. So uh, you can be asked to write uh, any short note on coal. In that what all things you can mention are used or what all things coal is used in then what are the types ages distribution so let's start uh, doing them one by one if we talk about used in so coal is used in thermal energy domestic cooking brick making coal tar that is road and steam engine so all these are places where coal is used then there are four types of coal anthracite bituminous lignite and peat so when we talk of anthracite the iron uh, the coal carbon content is very high it is hard black compact less residual residual is uh, left behind when it is burnt and it is very rarely found because it is the best type ha uh, maximum coal uh, carbon content is in this type of coal Next is bituminous coal which is also known as household coal and it is the most widely used coal type. Then there is lignite which is also known as brown coal and this is found in large quantities in Tamil Nadu. And finally we have peat. Uh, it is of lowest grade. Less heat uh, is given out when these are burnt and smoke is very high when these are burnt. 
then we have two ages first is gondwana and second is tertiary so when we talk of gondwana then we have uh, then it is 200 million years old it basically these this type of coal gondwana age coal are found in peninsula india and they are of better quality then second there are tertiary which are uh, which are 55 million years old these are found in northeast india and these are of low quality because of uh, less time as compared to gondwana next is distribution so uh, as such anthracite is found in jammu and kashmir bituminous is found in jharkhand west bengal odisha chatisgarh mp tamil nadu is uh, lignite is found in tamil nadu uh, naivali is the place where it is found and uh, some other places are makum janji and northeastern parts also you must note one thing that jharia jharia is the largest coal fields followed by rani ganj so this is something that you should remember for one marks this map is also very important and now we come to petroleum again uses distribution and uh, all those things so starting with uses petroleum is used as fuel in all most all modes of transport petrochemicals lubricating machines generators dry cleaning paraffin wax etc for distribution there are two types of oil fields onshore oil fields and offshore oil fields when we talk of assam 16% of the uh, production takes place in assam the place where it takes place is digboy it is oldest uh, well okay and uh, it is it, there is a refinery also in digboy and uh, other places are sipsagar moran narkatia etc then we have gujarat where uh, important places are kalol and ankleshwar 18% of production comes from gujarat second types of uh, fields are offshore fields uh, mumbai high is the example of it it is the richest field here we have 63% of production there's a mobile platform called sagar samrat which was bought from japan and it is 160 kilometers from mumbai others are basin alibet etc the uh, they were discovered in 1973 and uh, production commenced in 1976 okay then again there are two types of refineries one is field based and second is market based for field based example is digboy market based example is barani total uh, in totality we have different types of refineries and different types of fields and uh, different types of wells next we have natural gas natural gas uh, there are two forms first is lpg and second is cng lpg is used for cooking and cng is used for transport natural gas may occur with or without petroleum gas authority of india limited is the public sector undertaking associated with transport and marketing of natural gas and was set up in 1984 distribution tripura rajasthan odisha andhra pradesh Ma maharashtra gujarat etc if you are asked any question on natural gas you will be asked to write a short note and these points are more than enough you can uh, elaborate on them and build, up, build upon your answer on them next is non conventional sources of energy first is nuclear energy resources uranium and thorium are used for generation of nuclear energy resources uranium deposits like darwar rocks singhum uh, cu belt udaipur alwar junjunu durg maharashtra himachal etc 
here we get uranium deposits then thorium deposits are found in monazite and ilmenite sand in the beach uh, along tamil nadu and kerala coast and uh, world's richest monazite deposits palakkad and kollam are in kerala so these are the things which you should write if you are asked to write a short note on nuclear energy then there are six power stations tarapur is the oldest it was founded it was uh, established in 1969 and others are rawat bhata in rajasthan kalpakkam in tamil nadu naroro narora in uttar pradesh kega in karnataka kakrapara in gujarat so these are the uh, different power stations of nuclear energy and uh, nuclear energy is one of the solar energy there are two effective processes to tap solar energy first is photovoltaics and second is solar thermal technology uh, solar technology is cost competitive eco friendly easy to construct uh, then in western part of india greater potential is there to develop uh, solar energy there are bright chances of solar energy in india and madhupur near bhuj is the largest place where um, most of the solar energy is tapped next is wind energy wind energy so wind energy is absolutely pollution free it is inexhaustible kinetic energy is converted into wind uh, of wind is converted into electrical energy in solar energy light energy is converted into electrical energy uh, then there are some essentials that one needs to take care of before installing wind, uh, wind energy plant first is uniform velocity should be there of wind second is continuous flow of wind is required and uh, generally it is preferred in coastal areas okay so these are the things which you should keep in mind uh, whenever uh, you're writing an answer on wind energy then there are some uses as well which are exclusively given to wind energy like for pumping out water generating small amount of electricity and grinding grains then wind power plant at lamba gujarat is the largest in asia this is a fact that you can remember next is tidal and wave energy this is not very important and it can come up one marks max to max three marks so important things over here are uh, that energy is tapped from ocean currents and largest tidal waves occur in kutch of uh, gulf of kutch next is geothermal energy heat that comes out when magma comes to the surface can be tapped or energy from hot springs can be tapped in this particular uh, type of energy heat energy is converted into electrical energy it is used since medieval times mani karan in himachal pradesh and puga valley in ladakh are the most important places uh, also first successful attempt to tap underground heat was made, made by boys idaho in usa next is bioenergy energy derived from biological products which includes agricultural residue municipal industrial and other waste enhance self reliance to reduce dependency on fuel wood improve economic life in rural areas process garbage and one such project in uh, has been started in okla delhi and it has been successful as well the last topic of this chapter that is conservation of energy resources so there are some very basic points which you can write by your own some of them are use of leds switch off lights when not in use get electrical appliances regularly checked car pooling use of cng use of non conventional sources of energy uh, sustainable and judicial use so these are some points which you can mention 
and uh, you are writing for the conservation of right energy resources and uh, next is conservation of mineral resources these are also same as conservation of energy resources so with this we come to an end of chapter 7 now see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye